So we've got RJ here and I've got a little exercise to help him develop better hind leg stability. RJ struggles with finding a good rhythm. Um, he struggles with having the same tempo between the front legs and the back legs. You can see that they uh, look almost like they're in two different worlds sometimes. And when doing lateral work, RJ will move his shoulders over at a different rate than his hind legs. So he'll tend to spin onto his uh, front legs, so the front legs will kind of stop and the hind legs will sort of get out of control. So I've got a little exercise here to help him move his shoulders away from the wall and then back to the wall without losing his hind leg. So we'd like him to develop outside hind stability, so that's the one holding his body up. So if you watch him here, you can kind of see it happen. Um, the front leg sort of shut down and the hind leg spins out from under the body so the hind legs aren't able to do their job. You see the front legs sort of lock up. Um, so this is a little very easy exercise to help him start to think of a different way of moving. So I've got some poles set out here. It's just three poles offset slightly. Um, they could be a little straighter but uh, they're just set up maybe a horse length apart. Um, they're staggered, so one is slightly off the fence and the other two are close to the fence. So what we're going to have RJ do is just go on the fence, slightly off the fence, and then back to the fence using the poles to guide him and help break up his postural pattern. So here he's going to go on the fence and he's going to come off the fence over the left side of this pole. And then he's going to head back over the next pole to the fence, crossing diagonally to the right. And then he's going to come back off the fence, crossing diagonally to the left. So what this is helping him do is to find hind leg stability as he has to keep crossing with his shoulders. So it's allowing his shoulders to become a little more mobile by giving his hind leg a little more stability. So he's going to cross this little corner pole which I like just because it helps him go into the corner a little bit more. He's going to have to reach across this first pole with his left front, which means his diagonally opposite right hind is going to have to stabilize his body. Then as soon as he gets over, his left hind has to stabilize because he's got to go right back over to the right. So none of this is happening too quickly, but he can kind of explore his balance. Now his right hind has to stabilize because he's got to reach across to the left, and then the left hind has to stabilize so he can get straight. And, you know, as we explore going over this each time, he gets a little more sure of what to do with his body. But the poles help him set up a different postural pattern on his own, especially when a horse has been trained to respond to our aids with tension but obedience. So RJ is a very obedient horse. He's a very good boy, but he's tense with his responses. So when you put the leg on or when you put the rein on, he tends to respond by getting tense and reacting immediately, which is creating these kind of poor movement patterns. We're going to go the other way. So by developing better shoulder freedom and better hind end stability, we can get him to feel a little bit less like a um, the hind end being like a really light trailer that sort of whips around out of control and we can kind of start to think of having it kick into rear wheel drive so that he can have some stability behind because we can't have suppleness in the front until we have stability behind because if the front end has to pull the horse around um, then the hips are just sort of along the ride for the ride and they really can't stabilize so you can see that that first one was a little bit messy and then as he goes over it again and again, he gets a little bit more sure of how to organize his body. And Alice is doing a really great job of just helping to guide him without getting in his way and giving him the confidence to try to move his body a little bit differently. So he's got to go over to the left, right hind has to stabilize. And as soon as he gets over, left hind has to stabilize because he has to come back over to the right. And then we have to go over again to the left. And then we hit that little corner pole, which I like, just because it helps him get into the corner. It's a pretty simple little exercise that's pretty helpful.